it is Vagi, which again joined by Surreal. Hello! My partner crime here as we cast our last and final series in Group D for tonight. You know, I can't say I'm glad to finally be through all 15 games here, but it's definitely been a fun one. Uh, are you tired of me? Is no, that what I'm you're saying? I'm just saying, man. Like, it, it, <laughs> it, it's hard to you know transition back into actually playing after you've been watching replays all day. All right. All right. Can I say the top right one? I don't know. Should I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Because <laughs> you know, I look at it and I I feel like I need a lift because I love playing the game Tetris. Uh, my favorite game ever. Tretherous. Tretherous. From Jammy Gaming. Tretherous. <laughs> and in the bottom. Damn it. In the bottom. Gotta be careful. Left hand corner. Can't say Jammy with the least. Um, I, I got a feeling this a real quick pronounce this one. It is one of the funnier looking one in the top right corner. It's past my wall paint. <laughs> <laughs> past the wall paint. All right. Hey, I had some wall paint, but I ran out. Could somebody pass my wall plane, please? <laughs> How did you run out of wall planes? I mean, that seems like well, yeah. wall paint. I can understand, well, yeah. but like a wall plane. I mean, I I used it up. I used all the wall paint that I had. So I need somebody to pass my wall plane, please. Um, I love it when I see a probe go to a corner. <laughs> I just sit there waiting to build things. Alright, he scouts the gateway and he makes the classic Terran mistake. I'm not checking for that second pylon. Uh, which is in a cheeky cheeky spot. But he's it's gonna scout it now. Scouting. No, he's not. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. he is. Here we go, here we go. Let's look at it. Ready? Let's look at it. Oh, oh, he sees it! Oh my gosh! This it's, 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 it's gonna be a big one. It's the biggest scout of the game so far. Oh, he kept the kept the pylon too. I don't see why you wouldn't. You could go around there and throw a stargate down with this probe. I would not. I would. Why not? It's gonna die. He's gonna do it anyway. Oh, he's gonna do it anyway. He's gonna come back. He gets the marine. He's coming back. He's gonna do something. He's gonna try it. There it is. All right. Robo. This is never oh, gonna get man, scouted. This is totally not gonna get scouted. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but if you're gonna keep chasing this probe around, it's actually gonna. Oh man, this is so good. This is so thought thought, thought out. Hey guys, don't doubt Tethrith, okay? Tethrith is a great game. Don't de don't deny him. I told you he was gonna come back and throw something down. I said Stargate. But... That's awesome. I'm not I'm not dogging you, dude. If you're watching the replay, it's just the name. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. It makes me very happy. Oh man, I, I wish I had a guy by the name of Thor Blob, and I ticked him off because I Thor dropped him. And then he quit out, and I was like, I gotta know, man, is it a Thor or is it a Blob? And he blocked me. I was so sad. Oh, the Thor Lob stories. Yeah, man, Thor Blob. So we have a bunker down know. on the high ground here, Surreal. I, uh, it's a double yeah. bunker. I, with two Immortals. Well, the good news is Immortals are terrible against bunkers. Yeah, this is true. I mean, except for when they're good, and especially when they have a warp prism. <laughs> Scouted! It didn't get scouted. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not like it wasn't scouted <laughs> Although already. he doesn't know what's coming. He now knows that there's two, I mean, uh, two stalkers with this. Yeah. I mean, it could have been two warp prisms coming out. Would that be He's interesting? He's just going to go on. Wouldn't that make um, for a very interesting uh, scenario? No, don't. Do not. Do not go up that. Do not go up that. He goes for repair. Uh, he's actually going to get one bunker. All right, there it is. First yeah. bunker's down. The second bunker not being focused down. Oh, and he's going to get it. These oh, units are now more. exposed. Marauder getting sniped down immediately. These immortals still here. Putting in a heavy day's load. And he is going to have to back away. He's done the damage. You know, he's picked off a SCD or two here. Oh. Nice fight. Yes, if he's are repairing themselves. They were repairing themselves. Ooh, the tech right, lab getting well. sniped here is absolutely a big. That means no stems on the way, no combat shield, no more marauders. Yeah, combat shield was about 50%, but yeah. Alright, here comes the pull. The desperate hold here, classic Terran PvP fashion. 
I feel when you make it up to like diamond level doing builds like this. Oh, and the drops. Look at that dude. The that, micro drops. That, that warp prism is like somewhere over New York picking you up from California. All right, man. I just got to say that um, Tetris, he, he's got some cojones. Because he's like, yeah, this got scouted. Just because it gets scouted doesn't nope. mean you can't, you're going to kill it. I mean, no worries. Yeah, but then it's like, hey, but you never know what it's going to be, right? It could be a gateway, it could be a starport. My question here was, why the three barrels? Robos. You know, why no tank on the high ground? Why no immediate factory to a tech lab? You know, no starport was there. Instead, you offer two bunkers, which you saw the robo. First of all, you saw the double robos. Yes. And you know what's about to come out of that. It is going to be two immortals. I, I, I just can't. I, I just can't wrap my head around that one. No, that's rough. Uh, maybe um, if the bunkers I mean, were a little bit further back, to where the immortals had to come more up the ramp to actually hit them. Just, just not right at the ramp like that. I, I think you would be fine. But yeah, I don't know. That's uh, you know what would be nice a little bit later. For now, but the old banshee. Yeah, it's true. It was, it was too early for that, though. It's too early. That was nice. But tell uh, man. It's like, yeah, I know you see me here. What you gonna do? And the answer to that is not a damn thing. And it is gonna force a very quick game two to come out, too, so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, yeah. And the top uh, left hand corner. Currently down 1-0 in the series after, you know, getting cheesed out by a very dirty Protoss. It is Pessim Wall Paint. I, I think it's supposed to be like Oh, uh, yeah, awesome I just happen to have paint. a few extras. I just happen to have a few extras. Here you go, sir. <laughs> All right, and in the lower right-hand side of the map, from Team Jimmit, it's... Shredress. Spin. There we go. They didn't want to spin there for a second. All right. That's the legit build. This isn't legit. Look at that. That gateway is totally not where it belongs. Uh, it's pretty close. <laughs> is it not? No, it's, One more it, and there's no reaper. Yeah, that's what I say. It's totally not where it belongs. Oh. So... Pass Double gas gets scouted, there's no second pylon in the base, and you just got cheesed out by this guy. But does he know? He has to know! He <laughs> has to realize this! Fool me once! Shame on me! Fool me twice! Come on, man. You know, you say that, you know what would be the best build right now that I would absolutely, absolutely love? Two Robos. It's a Stargate. Do it, I know, but two robos would just be on. Does, I know it's a little far if he out. He throws two robos here, and then starts two robos. It just does drops with the mortals and a warp prism. That would be pretty funny. Yes, but it's gonna be a stargate. Yeah, I know. Well, he's not doing anything right now. What's what's going? Oh, he's waiting for the. Uh, yeah, obviously the cyber core. My bad. Zerg life. Yeah, you know when we just go to spawning pool and get build whatever we want. <laughs> It's gonna get scared. Oh, like the robot. No, throw it! Whew. Oh god, this probe. Damn. Oh, he's oh, he's trapped the probe. Oh no, this just gets right. stopped. Cancels. He already got the indirect cancel just by being there because the probe got trapped. See, he should have built two robos. He's just gonna opt for a nexus. Now, here's the fun part. You can just throw this down back at your base. Also, I was about to say, go back and kill that pylon, please. So now... Mr. Mad says he has a couple more replays if you want to cast them. Are they JSL replays? <laughs> Not today, but whatever. Not today, but whenever, All right, so, he says. I, I don't try to pay attention to the chat while I'm actually casting these. Maybe because, you My know, bad. it's for JSL. But that's, I'll, I'll let it go. Um, and to throw this out there, I, uh, I'm i going to try to do those on Fridays. Like, you know, viewer submitted ones. For like, you know, like a end of the week type deal. 
Oh, I thought he was gonna have enough to get that out, but there's no pro it's, going this that is way. Actually funny I've been that, really happy. Yeah, it's actually funny that he actually saves that pylon. Yeah, it's never going down. This SCP is gonna finish the job. It, He'd be like foolish marine. It will never. Foolish marine. It will never die. You came up here thinking you could do my job. I'm a builder. I take stuff apart too. See. <laughs> But here's a fight. Here's what a fun response. Two Marauders pushing um, across the map. So yeah. uh, and they beat Stalkers. Two Marauders walk into a base, <laughs> and they says, mm, "Hold my pain." <laughs> <laughs> oh, glad you caught that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. Well. Uh, this is gonna be painful it's, uh, because he's, oh, no, he's passing just the pain around. around but... You know what would be awesome if you saw these Marauders just get picked up in a medevac and blown away. Oh. And then he'd be like, "Dude, that's that's insane. It's a beautiful micro." He's out. Yeah. 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 All right, both those Marauders go yeah, down. That's the fun part. Because if... so probes were killed. Yeah. Oh. The bigger picture here: probes were killed, forced evacuation, so a little bit of lost mining time. And we're about equal workers. Like, one mule is, like, equal to two SCVs, so... Uh, yeah, but I'm confused. I have a question. Uh, there was a, a pylon on the north side of the map, but I do not see it any longer. It was supposed to last forever. I told forever. you, Builder Man took it apart. You know, this is where the wisdom of Guns N' Roses comes in. Because nothing lasts forever. Oh, he went there. He went there! But the cold. <laughs> so, uh, it's a classic Protoss. Lots of oh, it's a classic Protoss moment. Oh, scouted. Yep. The now he needs to wait for that to finish and then cancel it and go full Haas mode. Cancel, 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 full Haas mode. Nah, we're just gonna get. Or blank. cancel the blink. Cancel blink and go con zealot. Nah, he's just gonna go blink with DTs. He could go blink DTs. There we go, Warpers on, on the way. You know, Tethers has really got this timed out immaculately well in some cases. This does get scouted though, so we do see a missile turret on the outside, around here to the north. There's no detection except in the front of the base here, so he can easily slip the DTs in the back. Of the natural, and I'm not yep. a fan of just one uh, missile turret in the main. It's not in a very good spot yeah, either. More, maybe more to the south, or actually just right in front of the command center would be preferred. But oh, I'm sorry, I, uh, the one in the main, probably one to the north, because that uh, can slip through. It can slip through, but I would much rather have your detection centered around your buildings. Oh, denied! Uh, that warp prism. That, that happens. Was there anything in no, it? it? I didn't empty. see. It was empty. I don't think so. Okay, he goes to focus I fire. Think so. This might actually be enough to break through this. These shield batteries are going to run out of energy very quickly. So more bio here would be right, immaculate too. But uh, oh, there's DTs here now. Remember the days when you first started out playing StarCraft and you didn't know what Dark Shrines were? Or dank Templar were? I still don't. I lose to them a lot. <laughs> That's the sad life right there. <laughs> like, what the heck? I, my units are just, come, come, you know, spontaneously combusting. What's I, going I was, on I was here? I played Protoss down in, like, Bronze League for the heck of it before they did the ladder change. And I won a game because two Dark Templar followed his army to the bottom part of the map and killed them all. And it, he just got salty about it. He was like, dude, I love it when invisible units can kill my base. And I looked at the replay and he had, like, scans ready. Oh, these are so dead. Yep. Get him out of here. Blink him away! Oh. Blink him over the rocks! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, the other one! Oh, and he's gonna recall that one? He was intending okay. to recall the two, but when they got too close, they went for the attack. I guess. So okay. it was a bit of a AI. It was, oh, it was wait. AI. So, so go back to the main. Remember where that, that, that uh, turret was? The turret per minute that, has that climbed. Away. The turret per minute has climbed to five. Make that six. When a mommy turret and a daddy turret really love each other. Make that seven. We're up to seven missile turrets. Make 
This is one of the moments where you yeah, feel like you're playing the game of your life. You're like, you're almost like so good. Dude, I'm so good right now. I'm doing so good. And then you go back and look at the replay, and it, it's actually just like a lot of walking, like we're going to Mordor. <laughs> Alright, so I like it where he's going for the third here, looking to see if there's a. The answer is no, but he is going to check the other third, and he's going to camp. Uh, nope, not, not with that army there. There you go. Maybe not. Oh, that tank around. is in a really good spot. Yeah, oh, come on. Okay, he can do so much with this. I think he's just hesitating right. to dive in here. I don't think he does. He's actually just how far ahead he is. Understood. So yeah, that's a tough call. Especially, oh, yeah, good especially when you get the caches oh. here. Like, I do like the rotate. The tanks right here is the best spot yep. ever. Yep. A little bit closer to rock, but I'll take it. Yeah, that that's okay. I'm okay with that one too. That's what the pros do. All right, it's enough to cancel it yeah, though. I think he's right there. Right away. And then says, "Peace out, bro." Nice. I like it. I like it, Pain. Yeah, because here comes the Protoss army. Now, it's, keep in mind, this Protoss army is pretty scary, but I just don't think there's enough here. I think you're gonna have to check up. You're gonna need oh. to see the Colossi. You're gonna need to see uh, the storm come out. You can't. We all can't be zest here, basically. Yeah, and he's gonna see anything that's coming from like a 50 mile radius, or technically 50 mile two radius. Yeah. Hmm. So it's gonna be hard to poke in. All right. Well, I'm confused. What do we got? You know, we, what are upgrades right now? One, Ooh, one. Two ghost. Ghost all the way. Double. There's an armory on the way. Is there two ghosts again? I only saw one Ghost Academy. Is, where is there two? Uh, what, Ghost? Yeah, mean? there's only one Ghost Yeah, he's building two at one point. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he was building an armory too, so... Maybe he can cancel the other? Yeah, maybe. I know they look similar. No, no, there was two building at once, and then maybe he canceled I mean, the other. Okay, he yeah. escaped right there. That was a disgusting fight there for... Pain to take because it's just tanks everywhere. You got marauders that are up one one to zero upgrades. Well, he had to yeah, go. Yeah, he had to go. I, I, not necessarily, man. You, if you tech up in the storm, one stem is basically more than enough to kill a Terran army when they stem in the storm. So. Mm, yeah, but he was three full saturated bases, though. That's where he's back. That's how you start. If about, you know, three Terran armies disappearing on the map to crazy storms. You can come back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm joking. Perfect storm. Perfect storms are the answer to every Protoss, especially against me. <laughs> As I don't know how to deal with storms. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't get it. Storms just break my mind every time I see them. <sighs> huh. Game number three. All right. Game number three. Place your bets. Place your bets right now. Chat. Place your bets. Is it gonna be Terran or Protoss in the end? Hmm. I uh, what, what's your choice? I'll, I'll give you mine after. Uh, if Tetris gets another lucky, you know, crazy proxy off, I think he will take the game. But I, I'm gonna go with Pass. Pass knows the shenanigans are coming. There's two games straight of shenanigans. It's, it's a classic question. You know, like you're on an elimination game for this set, and. Do you go for something crazy like this, or do you just, you know, try to play as standard as possible? Yeah. Oh, this is the one where the uh, minerals are. So if you put your behind the mineral into them, maybe. Yeah, this is the one where you also can mine the minerals out in the middle of the map too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you if you put the pylon on the other side of the things. Oh, anyway, we need to introduce our play. Do we? I mean, they've already seen them Why in not? two games. <laughs> Alright, well then we don't have to then. Alright, so if you put your pylon in the uh, right hand side... Here, boy. Come on. <laughs> what? This is like GSO, where they try to introduce the players, but Mario was cheesing so hard it didn't matter. <laughs> right. Alright, fine. In the upper left hand corner is Jammit Threat, right? <laughs> and in the bottom there right hand corner, as we do have a uh, pro making its way around the long side of the map here. 
You know, some SUVs for scout. pass... Just pass from... Pass oh. from wall pain! Oh, he is gonna do the minerals. Why? Wait, what? Why? Is he... There's still uh, four there. I mean, he's doing know, it from over but... here, because, I mean... If you take those minerals out, you can actually walk those across the map, but I don't like this! Got it. Oh. In the one spot where you know it's gonna be. Alright, he's moving back though. So that's a fake. And he's gonna scout everywhere for that probe. Pain is gonna scout everywhere. Alright. I get All the right, mind well. game here. I get the mind game because this is something I do as a Terran. I'll move the barracks in my main base to like the top corner. So when you come in and look and you panic because you didn't scout the full base. This is, I, I get what he's doing here. It's a bit of a mind game. Yeah, although another probe on the other side of the map would have been really... Well, oh, Scott CV is also checking out over there, too, so... Yeah, he sure is, man. He, he's looking everywhere, because he knows. He knows. He sees you when you're sleeping. It's big brother, man. He's, he's watching. Right. Alright, natural coming down here. I'm already liking this for pass. I'm liking it a lot. That's a weird noise. He says, I'm gonna get my uh, concussive shells. Alright, the starport could make a difference. Or Stargate, let's see what he does with it. Alright, well, you're going into Marauders and you're getting concussive shells. So, Stargate in your base is gonna go relatively unscouted for a little while. Yo, pass is scouted. Everywhere. Almost. 100% of this map. Now, it's at like. Imagine the proxy know, being. Imagine the proxy right being now? like right here in the fourth. Right in front of his natural. And he completely missed that. Oh, yeah. Like. Oh, he's 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 literally scouting this entire. I mean, I don't. If you look at the, where he's been on the camp. It is all over. There's still a number of places. Every. Imagine the few places you didn't scout, it would have been this base right here in front of your base. <laughs> And you, in, in a proxy, <laughs> you come down to scout, and there's like four gateways there, just ready to go, and you're just like, I'm out. I tap, I'm done. That would have super sucked. Like the old days of Nanima versus Pulp. Ooh, nice stop there from getting that SCV into the main. Oracle does come out here. Now, there's two Marauders and a Marine here, so there's not a lot to deal with the Oracle. The Oracle will be very keen in defending. Oh, yeah. We're getting out here and doing Is some this, damage. Okay, nope. I thought maybe he was gonna stockpile oracles, but he's just gonna go go with them. He's got one oracle coming, another one coming along. Oh, so I like this. Oh, I like this push by here by pass. I like. Oh no, but don't hit that. I think it's just a, a kind of annoyed for us a little bit. Where'd that oracle go? Those are definitely just said nope. And he's gonna scout the uh, oracle as well too. Oh, the other oracles on the F2 coming back, and it's actually burning energy here, so it's not gonna get any damage on the other side of the map. There we go, he realizes his mistake, he's going back in. He stopped the uh, beam from going off, but that also means he's going to have to fire up another beam. And he, oh my gosh, the F2 here from Tetris, he, you know. He's going to lose that, the way, um, says Marauder. He might as well try to get some death out of it. Yeah, chat says Protoss, right. by the way. Finally, we see this well, going back the other way, but a lot of damage, not being, not getting a lot of value out of this. Missile turrets on the way. I mean, there's a few Marines here in the natural, and the missile turret in the natural as well. You have to go in and focus down these SUVs like immediately if you're going to go for this. Yeah, he's he's holding for more energy. If he'd have gone right now, I think he'd have been in a very good spot. He does good damage, you're right? Yep. All right. Well, he's going to stop that uh, factory from being built. Nope. He's just going to go in the long way here and get a lot of death. Yep. Oh, good split there. Sacrifice. Pick off a couple Marines. He's finding a little bit of damage, but not the econ damage he actually needed. Excuse no, me, excuse no, me, the econ damage. Good. That econ damage is uh, is feeling auto-tuned right now. <laughs> his pass from wall pain is putting up that wall and making sure it stays there. That's right. Alright, so now the uh, Stargate is producing the old uh, void pr Yeah, that void ray coming out. The Chad ray is on the way. Yeah, so... There's actually three oracles here. When in doubt, and you don't have a dark shrine. How many oracles? Is that three or four? It's three, okay. I thought I'd see a quadruple there. 
Yeah, but I really like just Marines in plus one. I mean, that's really nice. Yeah, most definitely. And we already got stem. stem combat shield is done. You're getting a plus one. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. And he's getting. Oh no! I thought he was going to get a couple more mama turret, daddy turret, baby turrets, but uh, nope. They haven't found each other yet. It's a uh, looking for love. See, they're spinning it's around. It's a long distance relationship. Looking for love. Oh look, there is another one. Oh, it's a, it's a menage turret. That's that outsider that comes in and tries to muscle in on your turret. That's the Pepe Le Pew of turrets right there, right at the at the base of the, uh, at the right. uh, outside of the. Uh, but here we go. Natural. If these stalkers pick off that All missile right. turret immediately. Yes. There you go. There, I like this. Yeah, but they're they the bunker. So the sentries here as well. There's a lot of bio, and ironically, we're actually pretty equal. But let's see if the firepower of Toss can actually get rid of this bunker. That's going to be the big thing here. The Oracle's already getting yeah, taken out. Bunker. The bunker goes but down. But the surround was really good. I love the splits. And it, it oh, no. Oh, no. no he was actually, I really like this recall more. No, I know, but he could have been attacking during the recall. You can't attack during recall. Right. You're, you're stuck in stasis during recall. No, I meant for pass. He backed up whenever he saw them recalling. Hey, this is actually pretty big right now. So plus one attack is halfway yep. done for Protoss. This is going to kind of equal out these upgrades quite a bit. As there's no plus one armor started right now for Terran either. There it is. Just now started. Yeah, I'm... Well, Stalkers aren't terrible, but I don't think the Zealots are going to do it. And if he micros this... Stutter steps. Uh, I mean, if you get some that's good stasis or not stasis, but force fields down here, I think you can actually hold this. And there's not a lot of healing potential in this army either. Like, there's only two medivacs here. All right, I do like the single. Uh, okay, wait. He brought this. Ooh, okay, so he's, oh, he, he drops the skin. He's gonna rotate around to the north and try to drop yeah, it like to the it. main here. Now, you have to see exactly. How this and then works. you wait for them to. Wait, no, 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 go back. Yeah, you wait for them to move, and then you hit the natural. Like clockwork. Hey guys, let's go to the. Let's all one eight of the oh, top. Get the Twilight Council. Don't worry about the oh, pylons. No. Get the Twilight Council. That's tech. That's. All right, now they move up. There we and go. now the natural should be attacked. Oh, there it goes. There they go. Twilight Council does go yeah. down, which means storm Whoa. is going to be heavily delayed. Yep. And there was the secondary attack. Getting a lot of probes here. Probes were pulled off the line as well as this army awkwardly walks by. They're like, you guys got this. Don't worry about it. And then the drop comes back in again. And if you can kill that void ray, that'd be really good. And easy. Just get it. And now you pylon. focus on the pylons. Turn off that production so you can't warp anything in. There's still a lot of army here for Protoss. Oh, he's going to lose yeah, all that. that's though. all trapped yeah, now. That's worth it. It's still worth it. I wouldn't focus on army at this point, especially as Terran. Try to go for a pylon, another pylon here. One more pylon actually would have turned off that forge, which would have been pretty big. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna matter. We got the third base coming and attack push coming in. Uh, well, we the, are uh, getting upgrades here again for Protoss. Uh, plus one armor is done for Terran. Armory is on the way. I think um, uh, the armory starting incredibly late though is kind of bothering me. Usually, you, well, that is usually true. you want to start that when your 1-1's one, just about to finish up or before that. That way you can just kick right into that 2-2 two, two and keep your aggression going. Yeah, but I think t uh, Trethris is going to feel the past pain oh, that of uh, Mawal. Zealot connection. Good, good. Right on top of the Marines a little bit there, too, but that is just a little bit too much. Pass takes the lead oh. at 2-1 that series. What a series. Very nice. What a series. Great series. All of our series were really good. I like that, uh, you know, the cheese going on there. Uh, but sometimes you got to play legit yeah. to, to cheese. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely Unless think Dutchers uh, definitely had a lot there. The gateway explosion in game three, I felt, didn't really do him any favors. If he really probably would have teched up faster or played a bit greedier, he probably would have been in a much better situation for, you know, to hold and come back. Yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely again, it's one of those things you you just if you're not looking far enough into it and you don't realize that you have other options besides trying to 
pump out a bunch of fighting units. Especially heavily un upgraded fighting units. I and mean, all you have is, I think, what was it? Resonating Glaives? That was it? Uh, the last match, he didn't even have that. I think he just went with the air. Yeah, he only had plus one of Warp Gate, so. Yep. Hmm. So his Terran is Good definitely series. going to be able to overpower you there, so. I'm looking forward to see how these uh, other players play against the, uh, you know, their counterparts. For sure. So, you know, this. This is just week one, but this is a long, uh, long season. Oh, so in the end, you know, Tetris does pick up. We're not Tetris, but uh, Passable Wall Pain definitely picks up that uh, two-one win in week one. But week two, we'll cover week two when uh, week three gets on the way here. So, yeah, sounds good.